A new study shows a certain salamander key to our ecosystem is under threat in East Tennessee. 10 News reporter Ryan Connors joins us with the concerns from researchers and why those amphibians are so important. Ryan. Yeah, John, and although they may have been hard to see for many years, the hellbender salamander could be found at the bottom of almost every East Tennessee freshwater stream. But the recent dip in their population is making them harder to find. Scientists say humans are to blame. Hellbender salamanders predate human existence. This is an animal that has been around for at least 70 million years. So they coexisted with the dinosaurs. They survived mass extinction events. And, you know, the big mass extinction event, of course. And now something that we're doing to the landscape and to our water is causing them to disappear. And now the population is facing a decrease due to human activity. A study from Virginia Tech explains how deforestation affects the species' behavioral tendencies. So hellbenders normally spend about eight months taking care of their babies. The dads do all the work. And when you lose forest cover, they don't do that. And what's even worse is instead of taking care of their young, they actually eat them. The high levels of cannibalism along with illegal killings of the salamanders has led to the drop in numbers. Hellbenders are found in fresh water, making them an indicator species to humans when looking for bodies of water that are safe for consumption. East Tennessee streams are among the most populated spots for hellbenders. And these species uh, evolved here. They, um, they, they are a natural part of the ecosystem. And so I think just for a, for a it's, it's, it's immoral to extirpate any of the species we have around here. Humankind has had such a bad effect on the environment over the past 200 years that some scientists are describing us as being in a new geological age of human impact on Earth. We have a responsibility now to be stewards of our environment. Because we've had such a negative impact in the past, now we should take responsibility and make sure we're restoring these species. Now, deforestation affects streams in many other ways as well. With fewer bushes and shrubs, more debris is allowed to come in and contaminate the streams and allow more cattle access as well, which can obviously cause contamination to our drinking water. John? Ryan Connors with that perspective tonight.